Welcome to Dusty Road Africa. We are in the Shishlui Umfalozi Park in South Africa. The park was first opened in 1895, making it one of the oldest parks in Africa. At a size of 96,000 hectares, that's 960 square kilometers, the park consists of the Shishlui section in the north and the Umfalozi section in the south. And we are in the Umfalozi section. More precisely, we are in the wilderness area and we're going to be looking at the Umfalozi wilderness trails that are conducted within this area. They are run by Ezemvelo, KZN Wildlife and were first started by Dr. Ian Player as a way of getting people to reconnect to nature. I've done quite a few of these trails and decided to put together a little video to explain what they're all about. Wilderness Trails is all about going on foot into the wilderness and it's an amazing opportunity to reconnect with nature and to start really feeling what it means to belong to nature and be a part of something again. The trails guides that take you are very knowledgeable and will be able to interpret the natural environment that you are experiencing to you. I've basically broken this down to go through a couple of the trails that I have personally experienced and been on and all of these start off at a place called Impila where you sign in. From there you're going to go down to the Imdendini Trails Camp where you are going to sign your documents, park your car and sort out all the kit before leaving on the trail that you choose. This little lapper over here is where you are going to get to meet your trails guards. The trails guards are going to take you through a safety briefing. They're going to explain to you what a trail is all about and be able to answer any of the questions that you may have about the trail that you have chosen to go on. The base camp trail is the first type of a trail that um, I have experienced in the park and this is where you actually stay at Mdindini and you walk out across the river into the wilderness every day. There are toilet facilities here and a fully functioning kitchen and it's a really nice kind of a relaxed type of a trail and you can set the pace fairly well for yourself. The other type of trail we're going to go into a bit more detail here is called the short trail and these trails are basically two nights and three days and normally run over a weekend. The other trail that I've experienced and been on is a primitive trail and this is really an amazing trail. These are four nights and five days out sleeping under the stars and it is just unbelievable the experience. Imdundini Trails Camp is set on the banks of the White and Pelosi River and once you've crossed this river you are now in the wilderness area. The trail gives you a sense of almost going back in time as everything that you really need you carrying on your back and you'll realize how little you actually need every day out here. This park is also incredibly important because Operation Rhino took place here starting in the 1950s which secured the future of rhinos right the way up until today. The park's also world renowned for its game capture program that it was also started back then and these techniques were some of the leading in their time for capturing and relocation of animals. The guides will be able to explain some of the history of the park to you and take you through some of the finer details of what you are walking through. The Short Trails Camp is a semi-permanently tented camp and it's got everything that you really need on a trail. It even comes with an amazing toilet facilities with an unbelievable view if you're prepared to dig a little bit of a hole. You'll spend a bit of time sitting around the fire in the evenings just chatting about the day gone by. It has a wonderful shower with 360 degree views and just consists of a bucket and hot water from the fire. All of our meals were prepared for us on this little open fire in a simple bush kitchen and the food was really really good. There's teas and coffee station and dishes and everything is done for you. It's unfenced so you get some great sightings just around the camp and we're really lucky with what we got to see. The other type of trail that I've experienced is the primitive trail and these are really more of an adventurous type of trail. You have to carry everything on your back in a backpack and you have to be completely self-sufficient throughout the trail. The guards take us out to a nice spot where you've got a bit of safety and there you will unpack and start setting up everything for the night. 
all food is cooked on a small open fire and somebody will have the job of having to coat the pots in black mud to stop them from sticking. We all got involved in cooking the meals over here and it was a lot of fun. We took shifts every night to stay up and do night watch just to ensure the safety of the camp at night. Bathing is done in the river as well as washing of all the dishes and everybody takes turns in doing this. To be able to wake up in the morning to these beautiful views is truly, truly special and it really is what makes me love Africa so much. Just to be able to sit in some of these places and look over this wilderness area that has been vastly untouched for so many years is incredible experience. Thank you for joining us on this adventure and we hope you'll be subscribing to our channel and joining us for future adventures as we travel around South Africa and we're going to start meeting some of the conservationists behind the scenes.